I, I need to, I, 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 there's, there's another step here, and I want to express the whole elimination process in matrix language. So tell me what now, uh, now, so next step, step two, which was what? Subtract, what was, what was the actual step that we did? I think I subtracted, do you remember? I had a two in the pivot and a four below it, so I subtracted two times, times row two from row three from row three. Tell me the matrix that'll do that. And tell me its name. Okay, it's going to be E for elementary or elimination matrix, and what's the index number that, that, that I use to tell me what? E32, right? Because it's fixing this 3-2 position, and what's, what is the matrix now? Okay, you remember, so E32 is supposed to multiply my guy that I have, and it's supposed to produce the right result, which was, it leave, it's supposed to leave the first row, it's supposed to leave the second row, and it's supposed to straighten out the third row to, to this. And what's the matrix that does that? One zero zero, right? Because we don't change the first row. And the next row we don't change either. And the last row is the one we do change. And what do I do? Let's see, the, I, I subtract two times. So what's this row? What, what's this here? Zero, right? Because the first row is not involved. The sec it's just in the three two position, isn't it? This num the key number is this minus the multiplier that goes sitting there in that 3, 2 position. So it's a, is it a minus 2 to subtract 2, and then this is a 1, so that I, I uh, the, the overall effect is to take minus 2 of this row plus 1 of that. Okay. So I've now given you the pieces the elimination matrices, the elementary matrices that take each step. So now what? Now the next point in the lecture is to put those steps together into a matrix that does it all and, and see how it all happens. So now I'm going to express the whole, everything we did today so far on, on A was to start with A, we multiplied it by E21, that was the first step, and then we multiplied that result by E32, and that led us to this thing, and what was that matrix? U. You see why I like matrix notation, because there in like little space, a few bits when it's compressed on the web, is everything, is this whole lecture. Okay. Now, there, there are important facts about matrix multiplication. And we're close to maybe the most important. And that, that is this. Suppose I ask you this question. Suppose I start, start with a matrix A, and I want to end with a matrix U, and I want to say, what matrix does the whole job? What matrix takes me from A to U, using the letters I've got? So, and, and the answer is simple. I'm not asking this, is, but it's highly important. How could I, how would I create the matrix that does the whole job at once, that does all of elimination in one shot? It would be, I would just put these together, right? In other words, th this is the thing I'm struggling to say. 
I can move those parentheses. If I keep the matrices in order, I can't mess around with the order of the matrices, but I can change the order that I do the multiplication. I can multiply these two first. In other words, you see what those parentheses are doing? It's saying do multiply the E's first, and that gives you the matrix that does everything at once. OK. What, so this fact, that this is automatically the same as this, for every uh, matrix multiplication, which I'm conscious of still not telling you in every detail, but like you're seeing how it works, and this is highly important, and maybe tell me the long word that, that describes this law for matrices, that, that you can move the parentheses. It's the, called the associative law. I, I think you can now forget that. Uh, it's, uh, but don't forget the law. I mean, like, forget the word associative. I don't know. But don't, don't forget the law. Because actually, we'll see so many uh, steps in linear algebra, so many proofs, even, of, of, of main facts, come from just moving the parentheses. It's a, it's a, like, and it's not that easy to, I mean, the, to, prove that, to prove that this is correct, you have to go into the gory details of matrix multiplication, do it both ways, and see that you come out the same. Maybe I'll leave the uh, author to do that. Okay, so there we go. That's, that's, uh, that's how I... So there's a, ma a single matrix, I, I could call it E. Now, uh, oh, why no, while we're talking about these matrices, tell me one other, there's another type of elementary matrix, and we already said why we might need it. We, we didn't need it in this case, but it's the matrix that exchanges two rows. It's a, called a permutation matrix. Can you just, like, tell me what that, would be, so I'm just like, this is a slight digression, and we'll, yeah, so let me get some, let me figure out where I'm going to put a permutation matrix. <laughs> You'll see I'm always squeezing stuff in, so permutation, or in fact, uh, this, this one is like exchange rows, so I exchange rows one and two, just to make life easy. So if I had my matrix, oh, let, let me just do two by two, A, B, C, D. Suppose I want to find the matrix that exchanges those rows. What is it? So the matrix that exchanges those rows, the, the row I want is C, D, and it's there. So I, I better take one of it. And the row I want here is up top, so I'll take one of that. So actually, I've just, the easy one, this is my matrix that I'll call P for permutation. It's the matrix, actually the, the easy way to find it is just do the thing to the identity matrix, exchange, rows, exchange the rows of the identity matrix, and then that's the matrix that'll do, do row exchanges for you. Could, suppose I wanted to exchange columns instead. Columns have hardly got into today's lecture, but they certainly are going to be around. How could I, if I started with this matrix A, B, C, D, uh, then I wouldn't, I, I, 